Hi everyone, this is Sam Crane the Heart, and I am back with sort of the shaker versions of my berry cherry kind of extravaganza. I could have been making shaker cards with, you know, cherries forever. So adorable. So um, this is the kit, and so I've done, I think, a whole of this kit, and I think in my previous video um, where I share the projects that I made that were not shakers, um, but all of these were a kit. However, they are sold separately. I did check on the Taylor Expression site. Um, it's called Berry Cherry, and you get the, the large background stamp as well as the clear to stamp your cherries, any color you want. And then here is a stencil that matches, so you can lay this right over that stamped background stamp, and you won't cover up the cherries at all. But you also can use it by itself, and I did use it by itself in a couple of ways. Also came with a die and a little circle. You can make shakers, which I did. And then this stamp set, um, which is called Cherry on Top, and then um, dies. And the dies work on the background stamp. They also work on this. The clear works on the background stamp, but also works on stamping these. And then I also had these, but I did not use these. These are like envelope seals. I didn't have a chance to use them. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to share with you two shakers, and then I'm going to show you how I made um, a shaker tag using that product. So here is an infinity shaker. And so this is, this, this is just so cute. This is from, this calls for confetti. It's called Freshly Picked Cherries. And it had this blue in here. So it's a blue, green, red, and then it's got these little tiny little cherry doohickeys in here. So I wanted to match that blue. So I had used the stencil over the background stamp and, and I did it in blue ink. So it really just goes really well. And, and I stamped, um, I have all my pieces on the outside. So I've got that die here as well as some cherries. These cherries in this heart have sickles on them. And it just, it moves really well. And I've got all those fun pieces in there. And just a really kind of fun card. And then this one, what I did was I used the circle die to cut a circle out of the scallop die. So I just did the scalp die, then I put the circle over it, taped it down, and ran it through and made a circle. And then that is what I used as my shaker holder. And so then I put those little cute little pieces in there, and then I've got um, my cherries over it and a little cherry here. This cherry has got um, glossy accents on it, so it's very shiny. And so really fun. And then we're going to... I'm going to show you how I made this. So this is, it looks very finished from the back. So this is a really, really cute um, shaker tag. This is just for you. I did not decorate this. Um, I might put some stickles or some glossy accents on it. I just haven't done it yet because it takes a while to dry. And so I didn't do that yet. But so move it around. Okay, so there you go. So this is what we're going to need to make this. So you, so if you have any die that's similar to this, you could use it. And it's the same idea. So these are the pieces that you need. Um, let's see my need one other piece that I need to grab. Okay, <laughs> so you need some foam. And this is my favorite foam for circles. Um, it's a Tailored Expressions a quarter inch. I think it's quarter inch. Quarter inch foam. It's a really skinny foam that they have. And then um, what I did was I stamped, or I'm sorry, I die cut one of the, um, the scallop dies. And then I die cut it again, and then when I and then I ran it through a third time by putting a circle, the circle die, and taping it down, and then running it through to create an opening. That way, you can have a finished back. So this is the inside that you're going to see. Everything kind of goes together. And so all I did was 
um, die cut a white circle because there's that circle die and then I stamped the little heart that comes in the stamp set in the blue ink and I stamped my um, cherries randomly and then used the clear stamp to put color on them and so there's that and then here is this piece right here this is my acetate window and I used that circle die and ran it through for um, my my, my uh, window it does not cut all the way through so you kind of have to take scissors and kind of go around it but it kind of gives you the idea that's all you need and then I have my sentiment strip and so this is just for you and then I have my cherry I have my um, string and I have my glue so let's go ahead and get get going so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to work on the back side of here and I am going to glue the window piece to the back of my open circled die. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just kind of uh, like that. And let's see, let's put it down. So I'm going to have to hold it down for just a tad because, um, yeah, just got to hold it down just a tad. So there's that. So, it's, you know, once it starts drying, it's a fast drying glue. And then we take our, our foam and we want to work around. And I kind of find that you want to be fairly close to the inside opening because you don't want the foam to show through and you just kind of twist it around and I think because it's such a as a thinner foam tape um, it does allow you to twist even though the back end comes off so be aware that's the peeler paper starting to come off and then I got a piece here so, so it's like right here, so I'm going to kind of cut, alright, so there we go, that is done, so I'm going to go ahead and just peel this off because it wants to come off, so you make sure that it's all the way around so your little pieces aren't going to fall off, and then you're going to go ahead and put your um, fillers in the hole. Pour this in. More. It's like a fine line between too much and too little. So there's that. And then um, I'm actually going to close this off for now. So that sucker will like close up so quickly and dry out. Okay, so I already took the liner paper off of most of it. Now finish that. So you want this piece, which is the stamped piece, to go down. So you fit that right down and press down so it seals really well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put glue. And so you want the pretty piece to be facing up. So the sort of not as pretty piece goes down. That way you get a finished look. And so, you know, I do glue because it gives me a little bit of um, room to maneuver because um, you want to match it up. So you want to match it up, which I did pretty good on that pretty quickly. So you want to match it up. And so then you kind of decide how you want it to face you, depending on what's on the inside. And then you've got your sentiment piece, which you can kind of decide. And then you've got your cherries, which I kind of want it to kind of float up. So I might have mine come over like that. So you kind of decide how you want to have your 
sentiment strip and how you want to have your cherry. And then you glue that piece down. Okay. That piece down. So glue it. And then your cherry. So I know that's going to be, I'm not going to glue the part that's going to be sticking down. It's the end of the world if you do. It'll just kind of hopefully dry. And you put that down. And so then you've got your cherry. And oh, I'm like always, I'm always losing that stupid pin. Put it back in. Now you've got your string. So I string it through um, both of the scalloped pieces just because it'll probably break if you do it that way. And then I just make a knot. And then that way you've got these tails here but you can then just tie on to a package or um, a present or whatever. And now you've got a shaker tag. Easy peasy. So, and I think it's so fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy Crane the Heart.